Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about autism and sensory overload. Um, so, on this card, I'm, well, I'm going to get one about sensory overload, and I'll talk more about it when I've, probably when I've got them in my card review, but, um, this is kind of similar, but not the same, so it says, I find this situation overwhelming, I need some time and space to calm down, I'm not being rude, I have an autistic spectrum condition, so basically, sorry if I'm playing with the sound, I just like it, um, but basically, um, when you have autism, your senses are like, I don't know what the word is for it, they're so like, more over the top. So, for example, if you, do, well, if someone without autism hears a sound and they, they like, don't have anything else that would make their sound, the way they hear things, like, extra loud, then someone with autism would hear it, like, two times louder. Um, obviously, um, it's different for everyone who's autistic, but in general it's around two times louder and then lights are brighter you're more sensitive to um the feeling of things which is why when i'm stimming a lot of time i'm feeling objects but then i won't like certain clothes um and then some people hate the taste of certain textures of food and their sense of smell is stronger so um for me food isn't a major thing but i've never really liked hot drinks or soggy food so like um even though i like the taste of hot chocolate it just makes me feel ill and then i don't like coffee or tea or any kind of hot drink and it really puts me off and i don't like soup some soup i like the flavor of it but i just hate like soggy sloppy hot liquid it's just i don't know i've never liked it um clothing's quite a big thing for me um when i was little um i would spend like an hour in the morning just fiddling with the seam on my sock to try and get it so it wouldn't um be uncomfortable and if it wasn't on the way to school i might be crying or like constantly stopping to fix it um i'd take my shoe off in the middle of the street and try and fix my sock also when i put a coat on i have to hold the cuffs on my sleeves so they don't get like wrinkled in the coat um yeah, certain clothes, if I put them on, it feels weird and I just have to get them off. I've never liked jeans. I'm okay with leggings because they're quite soft. But just the jean material and, like, all the buttons and zips on them, I hate. Just feels really horrible on my skin. So I've never liked them. Or, like, normal trousers. That was a kind of an issue when I was going on a school trip in year six because um jeans were required so we had to get um things that looked like jeans but they're actually like soft material kind of like this jumper i don't know if you can tell but it's soft not obviously that's not denim or jean material so and it just was decorated to look like jeans i think none of the instructors they actually noticed so that's good but obviously when we were walking through like water and mud because it was like an activities week um my trousers would get kind of soaked in water but i didn't really mind that much i just didn't want to be wearing jeans um and then i've never noticed much with my sense of smell apart from if there's like if someone's been cooking in the kitchen a lot of the time i have to like cover my mouth and my nose and then like run and open a door 
because the smoke just really gets to me. Um, sounds kind of a big thing. Um, today we had an assembly for Easter because today was the last day of school for this term and it was horrible. I just sat there while everyone else was like really excited because it was this certificate thing where they give out certificates for people who have done really well with things. Um, I was just hoping that my name wouldn't come up. I didn't want a certificate. I didn't want a prize. I didn't want a gift card or a chocolate egg. I'd rather just sit in my seat than go up and then get an egg. Because honestly, with everyone just looking at me while I walk up in front of everyone, and then with everyone clapping and everything, I'd just rather sit down and not get anything. It would be more like a punishment. Luckily, I didn't have to stand up in front of everyone. I didn't get a certificate, which I was happy about. Which probably sounds kind of weird to people. Yeah, I just never want to stand up in assembly. But yeah, the point is it was very loud. When everyone clapped and was like yelling and stuff, um, that was really annoying. And when we were lining up... um. I actually was covering my ears and my friend said to me, is it too loud for you? And she covered my ears too, which was quite funny. But, um, yeah, so, um, and also yesterday at lunchtime I had to cover my ears because it was too, just too loud in the hallway while we were sitting eating our lunch. Um, and sensory overload itself is when all the sounds and lights just get too much and yeah obviously it's sensories and the senses and then overload is in too much so like you'll cover your ears and it's you might feel like crying or you might actually cry or yell or something and it's horrible um yeah i remember a couple of years ago i went on holiday to ireland and the first day there in dublin we were in a pub and there was live music playing and I sat there crying. And now I think about it, because there was a pub, the lights were dim but there were flashing lights. And then the noise from the guitar and the singer, and we're like quite near them too. I actually think I might have been experiencing sensory overload, but I just didn't know it because I hadn't got my diagnosis and I hadn't done any research. But we thought it was because I was tired but honestly I'm tired most of the time and I don't just start screaming and crying about it and I know it was a couple of years ago but I didn't then and the noise was really getting to me so I think that was it um yeah we talked to the teacher well my parents had a meeting with him yesterday um and I might get noise cancelling like um, ear defenders, and then I can use them in things like music or DT, and then when I'm walking around the school or at lunch times, just in noisy situations at school and obviously at home. So like maybe when I go into town with my mum, I can wear them. Um, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Um, obviously I'm getting. Um, we've ordered the other two or three cards. I got a blank one, an anxiety disorder one, and then the sensory overload one. Um, and I'm probably going to be able to use them. So, um, I've been working on the plan for this week, and I think that there's going to be a Q&A, a card review, um, um, like other traits and effects of autism like the more hidden ones and how to help with them and then i'm just thinking of like one more so thanks for watching please comment questions for a q a because i'm pretty sure i'm going to do that now and i'll see you in my next video bye